Y'all show is ghetto. Allegedly. The world's finest man. The Ghetto Ways Morning Show. <laughs> With Johnny Domino and Big Data. How low can you go? I just want to tell you. All the way to the flow. I just want to tell you about it. <laughs> where you, uh, where you, uh, where your book? Oh, I got the word. I got oh, the word. Oh, you got the word. I got the word in okay, my phone. Okay, okay. Man, I feel low as I'm, see, man, <laughs> I feel so low. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Ghetto Ways Morning Show. I am your host, Big Dana, and I am blessed today. Pass it on to my esteemed <laughs> colleague. <laughs> Johnny Domino, sitting low. Say, <laughs> so, bro, y'all nigga make me sick, dog. Y'all done talk Dana Booty out the chair, man. <laughs> not, uh, not, 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 <laughs> yeah, man, I'm so sick of them. They got a brother out there upset like, hmm. Side line, yeah. We got to check the rating I had today. To, I had to change the chair on y'all. Y'all do too much. And then I got the broke chair. This mug won't even go up no not more. The, not the mug. Get away. Ghetto, ghetto. So this morning, what are you blessed for today, Johnny? Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm blessed to not need the police and still can rely on a crackhead, Dana. I am. I am. I need crackheads in my life. I think I got crackhead tendencies. You know what I'm saying? Crackheads come in all sizes, shapes, and forms, and, and all crackheads matter. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't rock with the police. So anybody I can call, I, I want to thank uh, Kennedy for letting me know that I can call on the right people. I guarantee you we need something right now, Dan. I get it cracking right now in the hood. Let's go. Man, I, I ain't, I, I hate the fact that he, he played on, on the top of people who really – who really struggling with addiction because don't nobody want to be a junkie when they grow up. Right, right, right. You right. know, that's it, it's not just it's not just a choice. I, yeah, and people say, yeah, it's a choice, but once you the fed that fed that your body now depends on that. Yeah. So it's a whole chemical imbalance. It's an that, addiction. Yeah, it's an addiction <clears throat> and it's a whole but chemical what? imbalance your body needs. They can talk that no. Them crackheads still around. Man, and guess what? They, that's the only people I hung with in my hood. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. The crackheads, the crack, we, I kept a crackhead around. No problem sure. can go unsolved with, with a crackhead around. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all, man. I just, and God bless everybody who's struggling with addiction, but I'm going to tell you something. Y'all need to start mixing baking soda or whatever you're using because it, it works. Baking soda can clean. It'll take the smell out the refrigerator. It'll turn cocaine to crack. I'm Vac- talking about. You can vacuum with it. You can it. vacuum with Kitty it. Kitty litter. The, the, you know what I'm saying? It just gets you right. You can make a cake. <laughs> Quit being cheap. Go get some fresh soda. Go get some fresh soda this morning, <laughs> man. Ooh, Lord, Dana, what are you thankful for? Man, I'm thankful. It, I, I had a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Much needed. Uh, Woosai weekend. Okay. Um, it was my daughter's birthday. Yeah. So, uh, we 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 took over New Orleans, you know. Libra gang, you already know what oh, it is. My God, we, we don't even be talking when y'all <laughs> had y'all little time, but when it's our time, you know, we finna talk. You know, nine thirty, Libra gang, you already know what it is. We keep balance know. around this thing. You understand? You can't even All walk my without balance. Say happy happy birthday to my baby Kennedy. Happy birthday, Libra gang. That's my people. Mm-hmm. That's my people. I know. Yeah, you know. You know. So we we went to New Orleans, had the the New Orleans experience, did a couple of things, had festivals, went to Canal Street, took Coco on Bourbon did Street. Did you call Ace, man? Did you holler at Ace? Man? I don't. My phone rebooted. I don't have any numbers, and I tried hitting him up through social media. Have you talked to him? Yes, I talked to him. He called me and Can cursed me out. That means he still number. loved me. Can you please? <laughs> I was I was just looking for him yesterday because I knew that we was gonna run into him. Kennedy even asked what C it was. Yeah, man, you yeah, got the sickest that, savage, the savage man, yeah, no. the real savage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, it, him him and Kool Aid. They just call me and curse me out, but that mean they love me. That's they, they that's love they in terms of endearment. All right, Dana, what we got today? You want to talk about old Jonathan Kennedy? 
<clears throat> uh, I think we we talked about it, but I love how Tanja Miles mm. fe- uh, read him for filth. Yeah. I love how she got up there with class and dignity because, see, me, I would have said I know. everything I wanted to say and would have hurt Mark your feelings. Trick, mother, and, mother, and, mother, and, yeah, it would have been yeah. beep, 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 beep. Old ass, yeah. mother, mother, wrinkled yeah. mother. Uh-huh. Said, uh-huh. Said, she on. read him for filth, though. Half dead. Oh, yeah. oh, said, he said, see, I'm trying to work on that. She, God showed you, showed me that How? one day. You would be able to check people appropriately. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I ain't had nothing nice to say to him. Me either. You mannequin, coughing, looking, face ready full for of the coffin. makeup, ready for the stiff in a suit. See, I had all the kind of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she blessed him. Then she killed all the races. Yeah, she killed them. I, I am a, once she said. I I'm, am a veteran. I am a veteran. And I love my country. And guess what? Them rebel flags were like, oh, shut up. Wait. She served for the country. And 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 the bad part about it is, no matter how educated we are, how we dress, what we drive, we still a nigga to some people. Mm. It, it, you, it, we still a nigga to some people. That's why we have to change the narrative of who we are as a person because we can't get them to change their minds about us until we change our minds about ourselves. Right, right, right. So, and I'm going to tell you what the plan is, man. I'm going to tell you. You got to fight the devil. While loving on your people no matter what. And I had to get the... <clears throat> See, at one, at one time, you do a couple things and I was through with you. Now, there's still some things that you could do that I'll be 100% through with you. But just being black, making mistakes, and, and not understanding things fully, I used to be like, look at this stupid... You don't understand the couple. I used to get frustrated, right? But now I understand that I was him. Right. Back in the gap before right. I caught on. So I had to tone mine down and say, man, you got to have patience with your people. You know. And also education. You A lot of the stuff that you would get offended by are uh, other people's opinions. That's one thing. Me and you get into it on this show. But yeah. I'm not never going to leave from here, even in real life. I'm never going to leave from out of here and be like, fuck that nigga. This, I'm never going to do that. Yeah, because you're going to switch your chair. I will switch my chair, man. They, they was to on see me. That, they want to see that meat, They man. can't see them yams, man. <laughs> they was on me. They be on me. And see, Gene can filter that stuff out. <laughs> but they be on my trail. Man. And that ain't good. You start rating up, man. No, I did not. That's them the chair are supposed to be at school, though. Yeah, but they be at school trying to get their blood flowing. Yeah, they, they need the blood they, they flowing with them. They got cheering at that school. Play with them cheering, baby. They get the damn. <laughs> That's what, that was their breakfast, man. No. <laughs> Eat that meat. <laughs> Not this <diss> meat. <laughs> ain't nobody playing with that. But they ain't got me in this midget chair. I feel short. Man. Look how tall he is. Hell, hide it. Hi, guys. <laughs> Not I got. It's, it's okay from down here. <laughs> my mic low. I might well get Indian style. Let me come pull my that thing back a little bit. What it is? So, you know, slide it back. How Gene oh, no, doing? Well, Gene, don't Gene. worry about it. Nah, don't worry about it. We just gonna pray that it uh, film correctly. Okay, it is but, what it is. But this is what I want to talk about today, Danny. Uh, let me see. I want to get the amount of money correct that they have given. And then people just really don't understand it, man. I want to teach y'all something today. All right. First of all, they just gave, uh, who it was, Brian Graves. The U.S. Department of Justice. Come on, baby. Act right now. I need to see the top. Uh, U.S. Congressman Gary Graves announced a $13.3 million dollar uh, local aid and state law enforcement to prevent crime control. All right. <clears throat> now, repeat it. All right. U.S. Cong- Congressman Gre- Gary uh, Graves announced $13 million from the U.S. Department of Justice that will aid local, state, and law enforcement to prevent and control crime. I might have said it backwards or whatever, but check this out. If they could put $13 million towards police, Right. Invested in my community. When they gonna ever Education. try to free the money? It, it, see what I'm saying? You 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 already there. Because guess what? <clears throat> if I got some money to make this weekend, I might not do nothing crazy. If I'm smart enough to know how to communicate and comprehend what somebody's saying, I might not get into an altercation. 
the higher my education get, the better my understanding get, the, the better things go for me, right? Think about your transgressions and mine. We was with the bullshit. Always. But we kept self-educating. You and not just me? that, we kept people around us that held us accountable too, though. You know, um, that's another thing. Like, you cannot get run from accountability. If you run from mm-hmm. a person who who like who don't think like you, or don't have the same mind frame as you, and ain't no yes man. If you if you confrontational with those people, something wrong with you. Yeah. Cause I know, cause I know, I be wrong sometimes. <laughs> no real life, right, right, I be right. wrong sometimes. <clears throat> but when I'm confronted with. If it's offended this person or made this person feel a certain type of way or if I'm 100% standing on wrong and then you give me an insight that say, bam, 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 now what your thoughts are. Then I, mm-hmm. I, I got, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to, or I'm not too big to say, my bad. Mm-hmm. I, I misjudged it. I, I, <laughs> I, I interpreted it the wrong way. I may have reacted a little harsh about it, but that's because I go head first behind what I believe in. I go head first behind what I stand on. Go ahead first behind what I'm passionate in. Right. So, so, yeah. <laughs> like that? Like Check that. this out. Like that, like that. Of that total, 1,782,000 is going to expedite the processing of DNA evidence so criminals can be held accountable in a quicker time frame. Well, free, free the people who you got in jail that's been in there all them years that that DNA was not available at the time that you still refusing to to, to mm. mess with because you don't want to up up you want to you don't want to cause an uprise a uproar in the judicial system or in the criminal justice system because let's be real Louisiana don't have criminal justice like we just lock people up there yeah, is no big business yeah there is no corrections facility here uh, no. Angola is the only one but kind of sort no it is it's the only one and it was established it was supposed to be Elon Hunt. Dixon Correctional Facility and and Angola because they had programs built inside to rehabilitate the criminal. Allegedly. Allegedly. (laughs) But no, it just teach them how to be better criminals. Additionally, $2 million of that 13 will be used for crime prevention efforts in Baton Rouge area, including truce and others. Um, The defund police movement set us back for years. This is his words, not mine. The defund the police movement set us back years, and now criminals are emboldened like never before. And it's not just in Baton Rouge or Lafourche. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> Louisiana's making headlines for crime rate. Dog, the crime rate is a direct reflection of the, the economy. economy. Like, y'all be putting this out here, and I can see all these people. Now, check this out. Because they money's never wavered. They, they, they family, they, you know, their money's never wavered. Uh-uh. That so if 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 get give get like level the playing field. That's all you. You know do. level the playing field. You know teach Equity. us te- right teach us what 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 it is that have you having longevity. You know that's just like if I know something or I got some information about what's gonna make you a better person. You think I'm just gonna hold off on that information? Yeah. No, I'm gonna tell you about it. That's how I am. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you about it. You know why? Because if you thrive, I thrive. <laughs> Even if I don't never see you again, just knowing that I put you in a better situation or could have done something to change your life. God gonna bless you. I'm gonna be blessed. Let's do. Let's go bigger than that, right? Instead of tit for tat, I do something for you, you do something for me. What God about when me. I do something for you? God gonna bless me. Not even what you gonna do. Nothing. God gonna bless me. Now check this out. If you give a man proper education and you give a man proper uh, opportunities and you give him, you know, as many chances as you give anybody else, right? And he blow that, well then cool. Then then the judge You gave me grace. Then you gave me a fair shot. But if I never had a fair shot and then all you wanna do is over police my my community, which don't do nothing. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I ain't never seen nobody really, not even white people, see the police and get like, oh, I feel safe. Unless they're in a, in a jam, right? A lot of people get nervous as hell as soon as they see police behind them. Because guess what? I don't have a spare two, three hundred dollars to give you niggas behind your right. traffic tickets and then you're going to holler about it ain't a quota. But guess what? The nigga, the cop that work right it, the most tickets, he get more hours. Right. That's more money. You feel what I'm saying? You put more police in the bad area, 
everything else gonna go up too. Everything else gonna go up too. And not, I'm not talking about the good things. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have more negative interactions with the police. You know what I'm saying? More abuse in the community. They cleaning up the department the best way they can, but guess what? Them snakes and devils is still in there, man. And they got people day by day. Kennedy just told you he don't like black people. He just, he just said it. How many times he got to say it, though? Yeah, I mean, he just blankly just told you, call a crackhead. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, and you know like what, you know what tripped me out? Crack. I never see none of them standing on a great job for cleaning the police up. It look like the police can do no wrong. The police are great. They're the they're the protectors of this this big old thing, and they just the police are just great people. Well, guess what? Them police ain't shit like some of my people ain't shit. Right. They you got good and bad people. I got everywhere. good homies. I got good people in the hood, and I got bad people in the hood. They got good police. They got bad police. Police all ass. Police get, the police. Police the police. Get the criminals. If you're gonna get the criminals, get all of them. You know what I'm saying? Don't have no preference. Don't have no type of uh, bias towards one side. You know what I'm saying? Because now the crime ain't high in these in these St. George areas. But guess what? That dope rolling. <laughs> rolling, rolling. It's rolling. And guess what? If they do a roadblock over there, they're going to get a phone call. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to call my yeah, uncle. Yeah, because you're impeding the traffic. My uncle's going to call my dad. Yeah. My dad is in U.S. such and such. Do you know they have a... Uh, a roadblock over here in St. George. How dare you? Yeah. Take I don't, that shit I don't on have Choctaw. Time. I don't have time for that. You're making the traffic bad. What about my commute to work? You know what I'm saying? And guess what? He's going to get a couple calls from his suit. Hello. Hey, uh, who move that. You? Yeah, you got to get on. Go. Can't do that. Go on back to the hood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. Look, I'm telling you. Look, check this out. So much stuff happening on Seagull Lane. I bet you they ain't going to do, do no... No little stuff like I done seen three people. I personally had to tie off a man leg, a tourniquet, cause he he got hit a motorcycle. He got hit by a truck that kept going. This whole flipped this man. You left this man for dead in the middle of Seagan House, Seagan Lane. Mm-hmm. I personally got out of my car and had to use a tourniquet on this man. Not only that, I had to take off my nussy shirt. That was the shirt Jive fam made. Mm-hmm. I had to take it off, cut it up, and tie it because that tourniquet <clears throat> didn't work. You're a real warrior, you? you know, no, I ain't no real warrior. God instilled things in me that that He needed for other people. Mm-hmm. Everything that I done been through in life don't always be because Dana the strong one. I'm the vessel. I'm the person who He can get it to. I'm well. the person that it. See, there you go. That's <laughs> why so I don't like to go to talking. Come on now, I'm let it person, out, sister. I'm the person let it that out. you know. Come on now. Can withstand some of that stuff. <laughs> and come, come on, out man. and come out and, and, and if you keep going, I'm gonna get the Holy Ghost. Come can, on. And come out and my testimony might change lives, man. Go on, give it the day. We so, ain't gotta do nothing else. Go on give you testimony. Let's go. Well, I, I first of all, it started. I don't 19. I don't wanna cry. <laughs> so I ain't for to do all that. Like it's, it's you know, yeah, for I'm, cleansing. You I'm gotta ugly cry. When I cry. Oh yeah, you don't know now. <laughs> man, I kick, snot. <laughs> Yeah, can't catch my breath. I ain't trying to do all that. So, I done did enough. This is my thing. If they can put that type of money into policing, why they can't put that money into job creation and um and transportation? Some people don't even have they a don't. way to get to work. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Like a what? A train. A train would be great. The L.A. Swift would be great to get back. You remember that Swift? Man, what was it, like $5 yeah. to go to New Orleans? $5. Man, I used to bust out on GP. 25 to, New, 25 to Houston. <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like driving down there. Boy, I get on that bus, sleep in, I don't know what, man. The L.A. Swift, it was like $5, $10 to go to Every day. It went every three every times, two or three, two, three times, times a day. Three times a day. Yeah. So That's it, when Hurricane Katrina was here. That's before all that money was being um, stolen from cats by every person who didn't ran it. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, yeah. it yeah. is yeah. what it yeah. is. Yeah. Number big money and crooked politics, man. It's horrible, it. and it's so much politics in school. It's horrible. So, so, so let's let's talk about some of the the stuff that we that we um we were shared last week with with these kids. Mm-hmm. You know, um, how parents aren't holding their kids accountable either. Mm-hmm. Like you not you you ready to always fault the people at the school? Ready to always fault? Right. The the you know the the other students the and other kids fight and go up there and yeah buck you and want a bucket like your and child innocent but your child is 
horrific. And I'm going to tell you what's even more scary than parents that don't have good sense. The people at the school board, from my research, I asked for a question, and, man, I got a big old answer. Them some gold diggers they got in there right now. Oh, hell yeah. I'm talking about, man, if, if all about the money. School board more political than, than, the, yeah. than, than the, the council. Than the council. It's yeah. Like, it's like. You will hear you hear them fights, Dana, and some of them are legit. But it ain't even about who in charge and what race there is or nothing. It doesn't. It's about nobody really care about the kids. You got this side care about their agenda, and this side care about I don't have to do what you tell me to do. I'm gonna do what I want. And then when they call, they come in. They say, "Man, look, we going when, when it's bid time. Everybody want control of the money." You know, Maggie Johnson had put in a bid and was trying to give four million dollars back to the school. Now ain't that something? Never heard of it. Yeah, cause he ain't they ain't take it. Yeah, why? Cause he, he Cause, why? Cause from what I heard, right? Because it it's like Maggie Johnson say, I'm gonna I'm gonna help get away if you give me you want to do business with get away. Like yeah, I'm gonna give four million back to the community, and then me and you or Gene them say, well yeah, it's all right to give back, but we won't be in control of it. No, if this is my four million dollars, you can't you can't be in control of it because that two million might go in your pocket. I'm more worried about you keeping your word, making sure you put the whole two million in the places where it need to be. Right. I don't give a shit who controls. Right. Amazing. If you genuinely, yeah, gen- genuinely was about the kids. A lot of people lost their their retirement when they when they switched companies from from Airmark, Airmark. to Oh Hess, yeah, I, I, I was with Airmark for for eighteen years, so. Trust me, I am not 18, 15. I am very much aware of how they how they tactics are, and just imagine, and they they didn't have a retirement unless you had a 501. Okay, mm. you don't have a retirement. <clears throat> you you just working paycheck to check unless you have a 501k or Roth account, yeah. a Roth IRA account. But I heard shit. about teachers that was moved, just you know, like it's like you, you come here every Monday, right? Mm-hmm. And I just hey man, check this out, Dana. Uh, uh, tomorrow, Today I need you to go to. Yeah, you 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 going to uh, you you going to we we, we going to start doing a show in Brookstown tomorrow. And then you know what I, I don't it was, you going you 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 going to uh, Northdale. Yeah, no no considerate no just boom you gone. Fuck it. Don't know if people didn't move and. <laughs> Change their addresses to be closer to their jobs. And, they say niggas you know, in there like you can go where I want you to go, or you can go. Or you can go to the house. <laughs> you go like damn. Or you can go to the house. So it's so many sides of the story, man. I thought they was attacking the black man, but then my folks start calling and saying, "Man, check this out." Check this out. I'm talking about you know some of them veterans, man. Some of them folk that have been working there and seen what was going on in the school system for years, man. But when you got money, when you got people in there that's only worried about the money, that means they can easily be bought. And anything that's not progressive for the kids, man, they gonna bite on. Cause guess what? I heard, and I don't know how true this is, Dana, but you know all that them children waking up at four, five in the morning and drive them all across town and all yeah. that. They say some of that stuff was fuel hustle to get more money from the federal government for fuel. Yeah. I can believe that because um, what what made me have a bad taste in my mouth with the with the whole um, funding and all of that for public schools was knowing that if my child had free lunch, free or reduced lunch, they were left they were more likely to be dumb. They were more likely to have low test scores. That's what the stats say. That is what is <coughs> based that that is the base of the stats. That if you are a free and reduced lunch student, that you are more likely to have low test scores. You, your school is going to perform low. I found that out. Mm. I did. A, I did a, one of my thesis in college was on the public, the, the, the public, uh, public school system, and they 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 get tax dollars for you. If you, because <clears throat> think about it, food stamps is tax free mm-hmm. on when you go into the store, but it's taxed through our dollars, our, you know, us, uh, yeah, the people through, that work. Through our taxes, yeah. Yeah, so when, when. All of our taxes, right. Not, I'm a tax paying citizen. So when, <laughs> so when you have, so when they do the accounting um, for the school, they ask you to fill out a lunch form. Mm-hmm. 
on that lunch form, it asks you, do you receive any government assistance? So that's more credit that the school gets mm -hmm. for more funding. That's where your Title Ones, your Title Twos, your Title Threes, your Title Fours come in. Mm -hmm. Because now that means that's coming from a whole nother, that's coming from a whole, that's coming from a whole nother, another budget through this program with the federal government. Right. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell all my advocates that that's heavy and trying to get the schools better. I mean, public schools, you got to understand. Ask the kids what they need. Look yeah. and see what the Ask kids Ask the kids need. for sure, but but also, uh, I, I don't think getting certain people fired or ran off is going to help. I think we need a, a law, a, a, some things change in policy to where who's ever in that position can't do certain things. Like what, what position are you talking about? The school board? The superintendent and the in superintendent. the school board. You know what I'm saying? Because well, the school board put in place to override, well, basically to oversee the school board and the superintendent, like the schools. Yeah. You know the whole schools. Yeah, but when you so get to political. that voting thing, you they know political. it's all kind of finesses in that voting too. It's like, uh, say like if if we already made a decision and you can you, you got seven of them and they didn't bought three and then we need one more to swing you know we could send him on a vacation and i could just I'm, you know i stay a little longer you know what i'm saying uh, you know i'm i'm crafty what what if i came up with something like my my grandma that died like 10 years ago she died again my grandma died i'm not lying but this ain't she say just when. Died. she just died again again so i don't have to vote you know what i'm saying it be all kind of little finesses in the game that i'll be hearing about but i'll be like man what about the kids, bro? It's about the kids. It, it's supposed to be about the kids. That's why that's how our systems are failing, and that's why a lot of charter schools are able to come in and build these big grand schools. And, and then you gotta watch who funding those. Yeah. I, I didn't oh, know. Yeah. I didn't know it was a problem with charter schools. Oh, like yeah. me, me working this campaign and yeah. trying to really see what's going on in school board. I didn't know it was big money behind certain charters, and some of them are good. Some of them got a great grade, but some of them like really like. For some people out of town that just this come to get their paper. This person just they said the federal fund that is given to the Ebola schools is coming from the same funds as the prison enterprises. Mm. They run parallel. Yeah, and that's because it's a pipeline from 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 school to prison. Yeah, they, they your third grade test scores, mm -hmm. reading scores, let them know how many uh, uh, jails they need to build. That's what they they base yeah. it off of. That's, and that's so horrible. It's very horrible. You know, like that's 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 what you think of me. Um, based on the, the the average third grade reading level of all the students, that's how they gauge how many prisons they gonna need. Because Billy Ray and Bobby and JoJo and Michael, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Ralph <laughs> <laughs> don't don't read good. They <laughs> that motherfucker gonna be crazy. <laughs> they, they building they building another prison up the street. Man, 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 and I'm I'm telling you, man, like it's, it's it's a constant fight, and then it's like it's so many layers, right? You got the parents that won't get their kids to go into school and stand on that and make them behave to make things a little lighter on the underpaid teachers yeah, they underpaid. who don't want to be there to deal with the children that you badly have to deal with. Cause like to me, I felt like after everybody went through the pandemic, I got to see like how aggravating my fucking children was. Like Ooh. you motherfuckers is bad. Like you be Ooh. doing that shit at school. Like it make me want to check you. You know what I'm saying? What yeah. you did today? Was you doing that shit you was doing at the house during the pandemic? Man, if school if doing that computer, uh, what they call it, uh, virtual, virtual. If doing virtual ain't show you your kid a little bit, now they all gonna act a little different when you there. You know what I'm saying? But if virtual ain't showed you to to, to love thy teacher a little bit more, <laughs> you, your child yeah, was fake. Every, 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 I ain't lying. No, none of them kids. Well, not none. The, the kids started to. Um, they they did they did not excel. They started to lose what they were taught, you know, lose what they learned. Man, my, my son was running out the the, the, the the broom. You know, you sit up in your room, you run. I'm looking at the time. I'm I'm, I'm putting food together. I'm I'm lunch late and everything today. You hear them? The lunch cafeteria worker. You know what I'm saying? What you want an extra roll? You know what I'm saying? I about you get it. Yeah, we for the fix some food. He Eat out here at the wrong little, little time of teaching and let him stretch his leg. He done stretched out the room. 
<laughs> Bet your motherfucking ass back in that room. Get your motherfucking ass back in that room. Get your cousin. <laughs> you down there. Some of these kids so bad, you need to be in that mug with your chin, man. I'm telling you, man. He cheering. I was bad. Now I understand. Like, I, it never hit me when my teacher was like, your disruption is, is stopping the other students from learning. And I ain't get it. I'm like, they ain't got to, they should ignore me. <laughs> they can't. I'm Joseph. Everybody, had, they got, but now you got 10 to 11 students in the same class with your same disorder. Well, my, man, I need, my daddy should have been in my life and come crack me in my shit. <laughs> <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Stop playing. Oh, all right, all right. I'm cheering need they daddy, man. Oh, all yeah. this old co parent Get what? D cheering need a mama. A daddy, a stepdaddy, a stepfather, a auntie, oh. a, a special friend. They need multiple people to, to, to be in their lives, man. I'm telling y'all. Positive, though. Yeah, it got to be positive, man. It's got to be positive. But but positive. what I'm saying is that village shit finally making a, a, a sense to me. See, back in the Gap, Dana, anybody used to check up. And yeah, we respect the I'm family. talking about anybody. They now, ain't got to know you. Now, now they want to <laughs> cuss you out. Yeah. I'm getting my old man on, but I'm, I'm telling y'all, man, that they, they got to find out a system to shift everybody around and, and separate the, the the ones who be cutting up from the ones who really trying to make something happen. Because I remember when I got my GED, I was really focused. I wasn't playing around. Uh, I was done with, but I had been bull, bullshitting for, <laughs> for years. <laughs> I'm talking about decades playing. Once I hit Glen Oaks Middle, I would tow up. Yeah. I ain't had no money. We were getting layaways and shit. I had to show off. I had to well, do all kind of stupid shit. The well, nah, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm Some saying people, is, mama don't invest in them at all. I already know they had kids that was that was coming way worse than me. We was dickies and t-shirts. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But what I'm saying is, when you ain't fresh, you gotta find ways to stand out. And it's an insecurity in young men that we feel like we got to play, we got to jokes, we got to be bad. Because guess what? If you dingy. They ain't gonna they tease you attention off if of you, you punch niggas in the nose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, yeah, that was me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and girls do it too. They, they wear tight clothes. They do little certain things because they want more attention. Or you know they fighting with their sexuality too, though. It could be that. You know, a but lot it, of them are Man, they that. need they need that damn nurse back at that school. They need some psychologists at that school. And they, they need They got a lot of programs they, like that though. They need more of that stuff, yeah, man. Well, it's called health health care in schools. Like they like some like if if people didn't know that, some schools have functioning whole clinics there. Mm -hmm. Glen Oaks have one. Broadmoor yeah. have one, like a functioning clinic where That's a nurse beautiful. practitioner is there. Yeah. If my child wanted to play sports, they I don't have to wait to go to uh what do you got? What food? You, I know I'm my eyes bad. lit up. That's and, a big ass bag. On a Monday morning. <laughs> on a Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> <Them> donuts. <laughs> but uh some of them have actual, you know, health care in schools. Well, if you if they if, if if your child got a bad cold, you can, or if they take medicine, that medicine could be assigned to them out of that out of that clinic. Or mm -hmm. if they, if they need to take a physical for playing sports, they Man, can go to them. This another thing, Dan. You know what a teacher coach said the other day? That that that, that, that good guy. I'm gonna say it yeah. right. That brother. Was 100% right. He said, You'll let the coaches curse your child out on the football field yeah. and win a funk ass game. And as soon as the teachers try to correct your children, they want them fired and getting it. Because I ain't gonna lie, some of these children only understand, Hey, 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 boy, what the fuck wrong with you? Like some of them, <laughs> that's how they get talked to at home. Like we be trying to act all holy and thou. Everybody you know don't talk saying? to their children like I that. I already though. know, but shit, sometimes you need that. You know what I'm saying? Some of them. Yeah. But know? everybody don't talk to their children I like ain't that. Lying. I ain't got a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't saying? have a problem with it either, but everybody don't talk to their children like that. That's just like when we was talking about the day of hope. You know, everybody <laughs> don't raise their children like that. Let's yeah. stand on that. That's right is right, right, wrong is wrong. That is our culture. Yeah. We 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 indulge in, you know, the the pill the pulpit stuff. The, the But you can't the push hand. that on you nobody. Cannot, yeah. Everybody everybody is not Christian for one. Yeah, somebody wants some yeah, people yeah. believe in the devil. They, they sure do. The they believe in and the that's devil. Their they choice. But the atheists don't believe in no God. No God. You know, and then you have people that's Muslim. Jehovah Witness, they can't even go into a church. Yeah. So having having that event there, 
I'm not discrediting the people who did it because I love what they stand for. The 2911 yeah. is for the plans I have for you. They they are meant to prosper you. It, I'm standing. I don't that. think nothing was maliciously done or intentionally lot, done to hurt nobody or disrespect event. anybody. I think that that somebody made a complaint, and I think the to the to the. I don't want to say the right person. They got it to the right person that was gonna stir up some 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 I don't, controversy. But it needed to be stirred up though. That's my. It, it probably that, did. It did because I, it I violated like those it was, kids' rights. I feel rights. like it was blown. Yeah, it did. It, it violated it was their illegal. rights. It was illegal. It was point. illegal. Uh, was it a bad thing? Depends on the eye of the beholder. You know what I'm saying? To us, maybe not. To, yeah, to a lot of us, it wasn't. To, to, to fuck it. To black folks, it wasn't. Yeah. We we hear religion and, and and that type of thing all the time. But and even then, it was it was wrong if you were Muslim. It yeah. was it was wrong if you were atheist. If you it mm-hmm. was wrong if you was LGBTQ. They had people who were separated by gender, and these people clearly are dealing with now, their gender. We can't. That's not that's <laughs> not my personal feelings. I this know. is so, the law. Wait, this is what I'm saying. You say it's the law, right? Yeah. So where the where, what's the law on LGBTQ? Like they supposed but, to go with who they they saying they are or what they were born? They're, they're who they say who they identify as. That's why they but have see, bathrooms with the plus signs on it. See, that's yeah. a law that passed though. At, okay. Thank Obama. Man, fuck you know, thank Obama. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I ain't gonna lie, Dana. If they were doing all that shit in my day, it's not your my day, character. Though. I was so bad, that, and that's why children got water pulled on them. I would lie and say today I am non-binary. You know, I am not a boy. I am not a girl, and but I that's won't. You. I won't go use this bathroom. But I already told my girlfriend to meet me over there and act Everybody. like a stud. So we finna go in there together and and, and tear this bitch now. up. That's what I'm saying because. Man, at some point, why we can't make uh man, I think I think this is my I don't give a fuck how y'all feel, but this is my opinion. Why we can't make the LGBTQ thing a 18 or older thing, like when you get your mind, it's all right to find but it there, their, but they got books that say gay BCs and I yeah, don't that's, like that's all that. That's that, that, that just this just my opinion, Dana. And I, I you know, if you get mad, I didn't tell your bitch ass to come check this out, but check this out. This is what I'm saying. We're not talking we about pushing it so hard, and it's like somebody gonna manipulate that shit. We're not okay. It's, <clears throat> we're not pushing it. It's just that it's being pushed. So if you if you if you know this this TV show pushing this, uh, you don't allow your children to watch it. I don't allow mine. Me and my daughter have these like how we sitting here having this conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm you, and she me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like what your opinion is, mm-hmm. but. I don't, I'm not against anything. Nah, against, do, your no, thing. do your thing. I don't like agenda. I don't like people promoting and pushing but it on what? kids. If you uncertain and you need somebody to sit down with, I think it should be handled with grace and, and respectfulness. You know what I'm saying? All that promote. I'm not, I don't think we should be pushing nobody to be straight. I think we should push people to be what they want to be. Are. If you like that, you like that. If you feel that shit in you, then it's in you. My thing is with the bathrooms, man. Like, man, go to your fucking bathroom till you get grown and then figure it they, out, man. Okay, so you know what I'm, saying? I'm gonna play and, devil advocate here, cause look, what if I'm a I, what if I'm a, I'm a, I'm not a man, but if if there's a man in drag, you not a man, in, mm-mm, not a man. <laughs> but if if there's a man who's dressed in drag and he goes to the to the male bathroom yeah, and get beat up man. but get beat up because he has on a dress or because he's different that's bullying you know that's 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 they that's that's violence they have people who actually that's hate crimes they have people who hurt people like that so those things were put in place for people to be protected but if they're gonna beat the nigga up they beat him up outside the bathroom yeah, like the but bathroom you, but like i'm just saying we gotta go use the bathroom man. it's wrong all the way around you, you, the board, you, you know what really need to be done instead of i'm not gonna let my child go in the bathroom plus with a side man. all these plus sign bathrooms where you could be anything you want to be today freak is the road listen go on in here and do what you want why do. they make them freaky? look this is what i'm saying because man that bathroom is freaky to me, man, instantly that fucking bathroom is free. I don't want no parts of that bathroom unless I'm trying to fuck up with my girl. You know what I'm saying? She could dress up as a stud, and today I'm not about. See, see. All right, Gene, go ahead. But I, I want to tell you what's, what's real deep, Gene, and Gene going to feel this one, Dana. You ain't going to yeah. feel this. Why? Go ahead, Gene. Because y'all men. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just saying, for a fact, I ain't never really said, hey, to nobody who's baby child, man, come over to the house. Yeah. I ain't never did that. Yeah, my so, Baton Rouge High homeboy. So when you went talking to somebody who's like from Baton Rouge High, you really want to see this. Like, mm-hmm. like, and I didn't get to read what that child said. I'm yeah. saying, like, literally, and this is why, like, you know, when people say, well, you need to speak for everybody right now, I don't. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. Very, very yeah. Right. Um, for me and those who feel like your me. perspective, yeah. I got a wood lawn. Yeah. McKinley, none of that. Yeah. Right. I ain't tripping. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. The Guardian. Yeah. Like, yeah. Made the Guardian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. it's it's like that all over because if, if you're from LSU, the, if you're from LSU the, and you get shot in the hood, you know, there's there's funding. There's, Fourteen. There's federal and in, in, in help, and then there's people going in outrage, and yeah, we're going to get this, this, and this done. Black people, don't say too much because you motherfuckers don't stand up when our people get killed either. That's part of the problem. Now, I'm telling you, that shit don't add up, man, and I'm telling you, look, check this out. Gene, you ever been in this situation? All my, my real fathers out there, you ever had your dog, see your son easy. That ain't no problem. You ever had your young baby girl with you, Gene? And she got to use the bathroom. What the fuck you do? You know how strange was that is. Said, I know you, you, that you stresses that. me out. We was in Chick Fil A one day, and I panicked. She can't go pee on side the building. I can't have her do none of that type of stuff. The boy, you can just bring him on in there and show him. You know, this is how you stand up. Stop pulling your pants all the way down. All you gotta do is, you know, what I'm saying you, when you when you're training boys, them niggas will go pull their whole pants butt out. Nah, dog, you can't be pissing like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> pee pee walls. Nigga, I panicked at Chick Fil A. I was like, I looked at the men's bathroom. I was like, my baby ain't finna see shit now. Hell no, it's my baby girl. I'm scared because that nigga might, they might come in. It might be a whole boat of niggas on lunch or something covering that bitch. I'm going to have to be trying to cover her eyes. Then she got to wash her hand. Then I looked at the women's bathroom. I go in there. I'm going to jail. This is a freaky, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's bad. Swimming there, standing so at I the was, door. I was panicking. And then this lady said, she just must have saw me. And I looked at her. I checked her up and down. She looked like good people. You know what I'm saying? And, and then my baby could talk. You know, she could talk. Right. She could tell me. And I just, it just make you nervous because you can't let her go in there by herself. You don't know what's in the women's bathroom. Right. Like, man, that's, that's for now. We talking about a plus bathroom. That's when you need a family bathroom. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want to go in a plus bathroom. We worry about family bathroom uh, is plus. people who just wake up and say, I'm something else today. And they get, what about the fathers who be in the thing with their daddy, man? See, a woman could take a boy in there and just, you know, it's a little different. I don't know why. But it's different. You can go in the, the little boy, baby boys can go in the bathroom with their mama, man. You know what I'm saying? But just something so creepy about men and that that urinal and you you walk and just it just it's, it's too much, man. It, 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 it stressed me out. I, I fell to pieces in Chick Fil A one day. Who was the murderer? Oh. What about the kidnapping part? Yeah. Yeah, they went too far. Yeah. But that's that's the gender. Yeah, it is. That it was is a gender. That was the yeah, that was a gender. Oh wait, they prejudged the man. They need to learn to start standing up for the for people. <laughs> start standing up for start standing up for your own. Oh my but God. but back to back to what you were saying and even Eugene, they had a national attention on the day of hope because of one student, right? What it but was three three total students? What they that they talked to, but the one is I the got a petition with Dan near two hundred of them said they had a blast, but, but I the, mean I understand that it was illegal, but it, it just it just man. It's all politics. Man, you saw how much money they raised? Can you shut the fuck up? Yeah, okay. Okay. 
So the day of hope. It wasn't hard. The day. The, 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 <laughs> my my thing. Rude. My, I had been sitting here because we was asked not Go to ahead. talk over each other. Then you cut me off a fucking gin for ten minutes. <laughs> God forgive Dana, me for cussing no, this morning. Dana, I want I want to show people how to respond to this. I am sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, carry on. All right. So, <laughs> you know I'm ADD. <laughs> but me too. but I know. <laughs> but but I was saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, up. y'all. Back to our regular, regular schedule you program. You got to see that go to so, show. Them bad cheering, you got to <laughs> talk to them different. Shut the fuck up, dog. Go sit your puss ass down and stop all that bullshit today, dog. I understood what she just said. Shut the fuck well, did. Not just come with the next topic because I didn't fucking lost it. I don't even remember what the hell I was saying because you didn't lay there and just disrupted me too many times after I was sitting here on the edge of this libid ass chair. That nigga Gene oh, ran. I know Gene. Gene ran. Oh, this is what I was back to say. It came back to me. Okay. So what, what I was about to say about that whole thing, that one little person that blew it up, right? Look at the skin color. The media... Always will take the sides of those who don't look like us. They're, they're, we are not newsworthy. Mm. If if our rights would have been been violated by going to an LGBTQ uh, event and I didn't know it, would I have had? Would I have been met with the same? Would I have why'd been met you with go? the services? Exactly. Why'd your Why'd your parents fill the fill out the permission slip? Because they we not valued. Yeah, and drinking with the kids. <laughs> third. Yeah, Woodlawn. Last three year, years in a row. last year, one race of the year three times in a row. Yeah, last year a coach spit on a child and called him a nigga. Oh my god! Spit. Yeah, doing the middle of class and then had very, hey, very, very Trump. And I, ain't, I, ain't, I mean, just not just Trump, but she had very, very hard things to say about. Indigenous people, black people, culture, just this, just different shit. She shouldn't have even been talking. And, and even students said this pe- person has been reported numerous times. Mm. Three mm. liberal. Mm. So what the what? Whose agenda is being passed? Man, I just be wondering why they don't ever. <laughs> It ain't that I want them to do it, but I'm just be like, man, I need to show people how to respond. See, parents won't come out for all kind of bullshit, and then something like that happen, and don't no parents come through, man. I, it just, man. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? Where's the video? <laughs> right. Right. With no proof. No proof. You ain't lying. We ain't seen that one. We saw videos of motherfuckers dancing. Even the police was jigging. We, we. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. What'd you say, Gene? <laughs> we on. We on. We on. Get away. You fucked You fucked them. They only told a nigga to shut the fuck yeah, up. Gene don't want hear nothing these white folks say. I love this <laughs> shit. I love it. And guess what? Let's go to the word of the day before we run out of time. I am flabbergasted. Huh? Flabber. Flabbergasted. That's what I am. The word for the day is flabbergasted. F L B B E R G A S T E D. Use it in the comments. And it, it means greatly. Surprised when Dana told me shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not just playing, are astonished. I was <laughs> flabbergasted <laughs> when John Kennedy say call a crackhead. Cause nigga, I will. Crackhead. My car break, call a crackhead. Yeah, Ooh, ask me in my that's face. Folk, he on his stand, folk. Yeah, stand on. He on his stand on shit. Evergreen Street. That's see, that's folk. Yeah, you know. Ooh, he on his full shit today. I Louisiana like Avenue, America Street. We fuck around, we we'll do a part two of this motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, I, I want to teach this lesson, Dana. Uh, this is for all my uh, my my I love America white folks and people who go up under the posts 
with uh, black drug dealers being arrested for selling fentanyl. I want to give you guys a, 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 a factual story. There was this company called Purdue Pharma, okay? Purdue Pharma created the OC80, and that OC80 used to sell for about $80 to $100, $120 a pill. That pill alone, and the, the, the people who created that company was called the Slacker, Slacker family, right? They've paid billions of dollars in lawsuits, and I know you guys love facts, so if they did nothing wrong, why did they have to pay billions in lawsuits? Now, that's still nothing because they single-handedly relaunched or launched the heroin epidemic. They did. So every time I see you guys, good job, guys. Great job, LEO. LEO stands for law enforcement uh, 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 officers, right? Great jobs getting that dope off the streets. Get those. Now I hope the judicial system, check this out. The same judicial system y'all talking about, let the uh, slack, slacker family, Purdue Pharma, make billions of dollars off of people and, and got majority, we, we be on that fentanyl too, but it's majority of white drug now, like crack was for us in, 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 the, in the back in the gap. So until you niggas, and y'all some white niggas, until you white niggas that be up on the WAFB and all this, great job, good job American police, and get great, oh God bless America, uh, go get on the motherfuckers who created this shit. And get off black people who getting the crumbs from the end. These motherfuckers that made billions of dollars, paid a couple billion dollars in, of, uh, of of lawsuits, and never gonna go to jail. And you know that rainbow colored fentanyl you see? Well, those pills were originally made by Malincroft. Yep. That's right. The creators of the M30, one of the most famous Roxies that everybody famous. loved to snort and shoot. The blue one. The blue ones. <laughs> they had their own little blue. So now they made their millions. And then they took the shit off the market, controlled dangerous substance, right? They took it off the market, and guess what? Now the streets are making it. And now they're making it be like, oh, it's the Mexicans, it's the blacks. It's the... No, you started this. You put your people, your people put your people on dope. And all you seem to attack is the black drug dealers. But what about Mallinckroft? And what about Purdue Pharma? Please Google this and see. There's a huge lawsuit in Kentucky where it was deeply impacted and so many people. The heroin epidemic is killing more people than black on black crime. It is. So when are you people are going to stop killing your own people and then paying a few lawsuits and blame everything on black people? Crackheads. What the fuck, bro? I mean, come on, bro. Uh, the the meth, meth heads, like we was just talking about that in in, in um in in. Now meth New head, Orleans. you know, is another that's a mill. Huh? I was just about to say meth yeah. heads it's is like a whole Adderall. another de- like a Adderall. whole another demon. Like my daughter <laughs> yeah. say, we was in the store the other day, and my <laughs> daughter, we in, he, I say, blow at the car. I'm not blowing at them. This curse. She She's like, I'm not blowing at them. That's meth heads. Their yeah. their meth heads are uh uh-uh, uh them, them yeah. demons. <laughs> and I yeah. said, girl, them people human. She said, mm mm, demon. <laughs> crack heads and meth heads hit That's different. different. I different. said, okay. A crack head you can deal with, you can hang around. See a meth head, they don't care about their teeth. They don't, they don't care, care about, about nothing. nothing. They will pick the scabs and reburn them and yeah, smoke them. I'm talking about, man. Ugh. Hey, kids, don't do no drugs. Don't do drugs. <laughs> and don't, don't deal drugs. Don't don't deal no drugs unless you Malincroft, unless you got your license like CVS. Get your they got a fentanyl, fentanyl patch at CVS and Walgreens right now. Be a legal drug dealer because those are the ones that white people don't attack. But as soon as you don't have a license for the drugs you're selling, you're just a bad, horrible criminal. And good job, law enforcement officers. You didn't stop no white drug dealers who launched the epidemic, but you stopped all the black ones. Y'all ain't shit. And if they stop the white ones, if they stop the white ones, they they didn't stop them. They they may have slowed them down because they get out and be and be right back on. Dealing with dealing dealing on the high level. They got white drug dealers too. Who do they? Look, check this out. If we check this out, Dana. If we can make 30 million and pay about 8 million in lawsuits, we can start the day. That's all I'ma get. I ain't gotta go to jail for selling this dope and lying to people. Man, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Look at this rainbow color uh, fentanyl. Uh-huh. Melon crawl. Yeah. Good job, law enforcement arms. Great jobs, guys. Purdue Farmer reaches six billion dollar deal with the state attorney general for a lawsuit. Good morning, Shoshone. Man, Shoshone Sackler. That's the name of it, Sackler. Google their net worth. They're worth about 
uh, 14 billion in 2015. Drug dealer, yeah, big drug dealer, you know, the big drug dealer. <laughs> God, now they don't want to talk about that shit, huh? <clears throat> he don't get a ways. I just, uh, we, I talked about this to my uh, esteemed colleague today. If you have any merchandise, because shout out, shout out to Yanni on that dope Creole food. Yanni. Shout out to Yanni on the dope Creole food shirt, man. That's my, la- that's my brand. She, she did that for me. If y'all have any merchandise that you would like us to wear on the show, uh, we're not going to charge y'all to do it. Just send the merchandise. Yeah, man. We, we be running out of uh, clothing options until we get our shit popping. So you can't look the same on camera every day, man. Yeah, we got all the ghetto way stuff popping too, <laughs> coming too. <laughs> Just to make sure that you ain't no cheesy person. I'm an extra large. I'm an extra large too. We extra large. Jean. Jean. 2X. 2X. We gotta get the rest of it. You know what? Fuck that. They gotta send it to everybody. Okay, well they gonna they gonna have to they gonna, if, if they got merchandise if you if if you have a clothing store. We'll send you your list. Or I mean not clothing store. If you are if you have clothing or any merchandise, not just clothing, any merchandise that you would like to be seen on the morning show, you can send it to us. What the P.O. box is, man? Uh eighty seven thirty three Segan Lane, uh suite three two four, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, seven oh eight one zero. Make sure that you're not a, a sex offender because I won't wear it. Yeah, we're not wearing and, sex uh, offender stuff. Sure you're not a rat because I won't wear we're it. We're not wearing that either. <laughs> no rats, no and, sex uh, offenders. Uh, I'm scared of some liberals. I, I don't I, I kinda have some conservative views. I don't know. Don't make it political either, man. I mean, unless you, I don't know. I want to do, check this out. I want to put this on here. Everybody that's running for something in November, <clears throat> I want to go live with you. Shoshone on here. Shoshone, you hear that? Well, Shoshone ain't scared, but I want to invite everybody. You know what I'm saying? Shoshone ain't scared like a bunch of them. She ain't, I she a capital, go, she capital high, baby. Oh, here we go. Ooh, 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 uh, ooh. You had to rep it out, huh? <laughs> Look, I want to go live with y'all so y'all can tell people the lies. I mean, tell people the stuff that you're going to do when you win this election. You know what I'm saying? So we can go back to this shit and and show people, nigga, you said you was going to do this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? I invite everybody. If you ain't scared of the ghetto waves, come on down. Get on live with me. All right, Dana, they say we out of time. Look at Shoshone. She say she could come and meet us. That's yeah. what I'm talking about, Shoshone. She ain't got nothing to hide. She, you know, she's yeah. standing on 10. That's my dog, yeah. man. It's all good. Capital, capital raise tough. There we go. We got to make it a capital you know. thing, man. So it's you know a line thing, baby. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, man. The pride that we had. There's some good candidates out there, but they don't have as much money as the bad ones. Right. I'm going to tell you something. So we got to blow them up. Yeah. Well, we'd like to thank y'all for tuning in to today's show. I'm your host, Johnny Domino, and... I am Big Dana, and next week we will be live back with Live from the Can. Uh, I, I, that segment of the show is about to start back. Uh, Angola Rodeo started uh, yesterday. I'm sorry I missed it, but I, I was in New Orleans. I won't miss another one. Yep. All right, y'all. Thank Free y'all for tuning people. in. See y'all next Monday. <laughs>